I can't believe you don't have a girlfriend yet. And then I'm like, well, you could change that. And they'd be like, nah, I'd probably ruin our friendship. The fact that you. <laughs> YouTube. What it do? It's your boy, Steph, man. Welcome back to another video, man. We're going to dive into this cold video topic. Before we dive into the topic, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Steph is Cold. Link is in the description. We're going to be reacting to Opera and Priest today about this guy getting zero matches. And I'm going to get my two cents on it, man. I want to get my two cents on the commentary. So uh, let's dive into the topic, man. Let's get it. Uh, no, no. I, I'm, not, I'm not hurt by that comment. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen no shit like this before in my life. You don't have, you've never had a match ever? Not on this. I got like one match on Tinder and that, that was like a while back and that did not work out. Uh, yeah, no. I am the world's most undateable boy or man or whatever gender you assume me, assume me to be. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Yeah. Keep your head up, bud. And I have to. Otherwise, my neck's gonna break. This is the thing, right? So, since everything is like changed over time, right? Mm -hmm. You're noticing that now most people are meeting through online dating, mm -hmm. right? And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think mm -hmm. online dating is positive in a lot of ways. You get to meet people you would never meet and interact with, possibly. You have an opportunity to, you know, try to talk to as many people as possible. But I'm gonna speak specifically to the men because I think the male and the female experience on online dating is completely different, guys. If you aren't the most physically attractive, especially like towards your face, okay? Don't push yourself on online dating or make it your avenue to meet people because it is the worst way for you. Okay? It's going to be deceptive. One, your height doesn't translate super well Deceiving. on online dating. Deceiving. Okay? Pretty much it's like a face thing, right? And then from there, your height and all that stuff factors in. But like, if you don't got it, you don't got it, right? So rather than put your fucking self-esteem through that beating if it can't handle it, Go find ways where it's more optimal to you. The guy in question was relatively tall, probably like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, so still you know above average height, okay? Decent build. If he was in a social environment with social activities, right, where you're naturally talking to the opposite sex and you're meeting people on a regular basis, he would meet women. He, he would, would have more chances to showcase something else than just face and this. Because what you see on Tinder is really quick. Facts. Facts. He can pull out. He can pull out more cards in his arsenal. You know what I'm saying? Because he is right. What you see on Tinder is what you get. What you see on Bumble is what you get. What you see on BLK is what you get. What you see on Hinge is what you get. So you can't really showcase any personality and things like that. You can you can showcase a little bit of swagger. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how you take your pictures. The angles in your pictures, you know what I'm saying? The outfits that you're wearing in the pictures, you know, the background of your pictures and where you're at and things like that can translate and speak through through to her through the pictures, whether your lifestyle pictures, you're on a boat with your homies, or you know what I'm saying, or you at the club, you got something in your hand. Always have something in your hand when you're taking pictures. This is a, this is a tip for y'all. You take pictures, always have something in your hand when you're taking pictures. So you and your nigga, man, y'all sitting at the bar together, make sure you got your drink in your hand. You know what I'm saying? You're doing an off look or something. Make sure you know what your best side of your face. Like all of these things matter when it comes to online dating, taking pictures and all this stuff because you got to present yourself as your best self. You do. You do. All right? So he's right, man. Let's listen. Let's listen to some more. So... Yeah. So my point is, is like, understand what your skill sets are, what you have, okay? Because Tinder, you're, nobody knows your personality. They're not gonna get to know you. They're not gonna be like, oh my God, this guy looks like he's funny. That's not happening. They're looking at your face and they're swiping. So if you're not having success there, it's because your skill sets don't translate to that platform. So I tell this to a lot of dudes, like, get off of that. Go learn a hobby that you actually interact with the opposite sex. There's plenty of them out there, right? Go do stuff that gives you a chance to actually interact with them. But if you're not gonna do that, you're gonna limit your opportunities to meet them. I mean, I know dudes who fucking work at a tech, 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 tech company, or they work at fucking Future Shop or Best Buy, and it's like just dudes working there, and they don't have any hobbies, they don't have anything, and they're all around. Look, and then, and they're you all have no way to meet people. Your job doesn't even give you an opportunity. And most people we at work. So my advice to folks is like understand what you got going for you, and then work accordingly. Not everyone's gonna have the best hand dealt to them. Online dating wasn't for me. I had a bit of success there, but very limited, okay? 
I had to learn to do other shit. So I have my success. <laughs> I understand it's a struggle. I know it's hard. I know like being invisible. I know what it's like when you've been swiping all day, right? You've been swiping. Days have passed by. Your homies is getting matches. They're going on dates. They're talking about how they're getting late. You're not getting nothing. And sometimes when you do get match and it's hot, it's a fucking bot. Some girl trying to sell you on her cam. Like, it's crazy. That shit don't piss a man off. When you hot match, like, like I, if I match with a hot girl now, I don't even believe she's real. I, I agree. Yeah, I'm like, why are you talking to me, bot? Sometimes it's a real person. And they like, what the fuck's your problem? So, just understand that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nah, it's just, it's, I'm not rude. It's just that hot matches with bot. <laughs> it rhymes with hot match. It rhymes with bot. The only messages I usually get on uh, dating apps are from the dating apps itself. A while ago, I made a joke video talking about how I am literally the the cover man for being ghosted or ignored and how to handle it. I've tried a wide assortment of like pictures from me playing chess with like some rap legends to like really good outfits that my friend designs themselves. And she's a girl and she was like, oh, these, these would be cool outfits. We did photo shoots and everything, and I talked about my superpower. My nigga, your hair, uh, the beard is nice. Like, you actually are not an ugly guy, dog. But the fade, man, we gotta make that fade ball, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Your high top fade, like, I like the glasses. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, let's continue some more. Comedic timing. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Photo uh, shoot. Oh, these are like really. Hold on, hold on. I got. I got here what he said. No, hold on, hold on. Good outfits that my friend designs themselves, and she's a girl, and she was like, "Oh, these these would be cool outfits." We did photo shoots and everything, and I talked about my superpower. Comedic timing. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. And it was it was like, he does have that was that was funny, that was funny. That was great, but. In a normal setting, it would be fun. On Tinder? Shit. I had even picked up the Bumble Premium Lifetime. I'm a member forever. I got the super swipes that I just stopped using because every time I super swipe somebody, it just nothing really happened. And then I turned on Spotlight uh, almost every single day, and I, I, still, don't, I still don't get any uh, matches. I have friends that are girls, and they always say, John, you'll be a great boyfriend, or I can't believe you don't have a girlfriend yet. And then I'm like, well, you could change that. And they'd be like, nah, I'd probably ruin our friendship. The fact that you- <laughs> Dog, that is so tough, bro. I've been there, my guy. I've been there, man. Like, uh, it... <laughs> Your looks, let me tell y'all something, bro. Your looks is very important, right? How you carry yourself is very important. The texture of your skin is very important. The texture of your hair is very important. The color of your teeth is very important. When it comes to these women, fellas, y'all have to understand, bro, everything matters. They scrutinize everything. Oh, he's not tall enough. Hairline is pushing back. Hair not cute enough. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at his acne on his skin. Like, bad genetics. Like, bro, they scrutinize everything. And I'm not telling you, you got to be perfect, bro. What I'm telling you is, dog, just be your best self, bro. This guy got the spotlights done. And I'm going to tell y'all this, bro. Them stuff costs. I, I hope you niggas know, like... Bro, that shit costs. He's spending hundreds of dollars getting no matches. You're even looking at girls that you call supposed friends and talking about you could change that already. Your approach to them is like you've thrown yourself into the dungeon. You are in that friend zone, okay? You put yourself there to get out of that bitch. Is and you know what's sad, dog? What's sad is women don't even tell men in the friend zone the truth, man. When women don't even, they, 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 they they so cold with, you know, I figured it out, dog. W women are definitely RP aware. Women are not stupid. 
She know why he ain't got no matches, man. Hey, maybe if you lose 50 pounds and you get in the gym and you, and you know what I'm saying, you show, show your muscles, peacock. You know what I'm saying, man? Show some skin, bro. You got some tattoos, bro. You, you, you got some jewelry, a little bit of your look, man. Hey, they wearing jewelry, something, a necklace, something. Them pictures you took looked at weak as hell. Like, like why, why, where's the women that, that, like, where are the friends? Like, how am I your friend and we're not benefiting from one another? Why aren't you telling me the truth? Take that weak ass shit the fuck off. All my niggas that's in my circle. If I, if I see them niggas wearing some weak ass shit, I'm gonna be like, bro, take that weak shit the fuck off. Period. Take it off. Why aren't the women telling the men, come on, man, you, you know, you're, you can, you can, you can be much more attractive if you do this. Instead of saying, you know, it'll ruin the friendship. You know why it'll ruin the friendship? Because I don't want your ass. <laughs> I'm not sexually attracted to your ass. That's why it'll ruin the friendship. Man, it's tough. It's impossible for most people. So you also have to understand you even being disappointed by the fact that somebody would say you'd make good boyfriend materials. Like, bruv, you put yourself in a situation with a girl that you don't want to be your friend. You want her to be your girlfriend. So you have to also acknowledge like the mistakes that you're making mm -hmm. that are contributing to your situation. Mm -hmm. I never had no girl talk to me like, you make a good boyfriend. I'm like, damn, but you could be my girlfriend. That's lame, bro. Hey, I was in that position, bro. We all been in that position where, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't really had that alpha in you, if you ain't really had that, you know what I'm saying? You ain't really understand these women in you like that. You know what I'm saying? It was plenty women friends I had growing up, elementary school, middle school, you know what I'm saying, high school, you know what I'm saying, until I until I, until I under, started understanding the game. Shit, them was kind of like the women that like led me on. I'm doing things for them, buying them things, you know what I'm saying, showing them love, giving them all this attention, but they on the back burner of me talking, talking to me about some about some about Pookie and Rory blowing their back out. I'll never forget, bro. It was a girl I was deeply, deeply, deeply wanted to get with, G. Bad. Bad. And one time, man, she talking to me on the phone, man, about her nigga, man. I'm just like, man, when you gonna give me a chance? When you gonna give me the opportunity? Oh, I don't see, I don't see you like that, Steph. Man, that shit crushed me. One from, but if from the get go, if I'd have been on, been on the shit that I'm on right now. She, I, I, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. It wouldn't have got too far. I wouldn't have got friends on. I had friends on her. That's why the RP is 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 very important because without it, you don't understand what's going on. You have to be aware and understand what's going on and use it accordingly. That's lame. So you have to acknowledge, like, you don't want these friends. You want them for girlfriends, and you need to stop doing that shit. Mm hmm. So maybe we, we shouldn't say things like you would make a great boyfriend to me because it, it kind of like messes my head up a little bit. They're not messing up your head. You're messing up your head. A lot of guys are out here lying, talking about, yeah, I got a bunch of girlfriends. No, you don't. You have girls you're hoping to date. But, 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 but they don't, they don't have that understanding though. You know what I'm saying? Ah, but they ain't, they ain't got that. They, they, he, he doesn't have that fortitude to understand. Like he don't, he don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these dudes are super, super, duper blue pill. You know he blue pill as hell. He don't know what's going on. And red flag number one, you got female friends. That's not beneficiary. You got female friends that you want to get it in with, bro. And, and, and they're using you for your time and your attention and sometimes maybe your resources. And you think you're going to get something out of it. That's blue pill thinking. You don't understand. Bro, you spinning yourself in a, in a hamster wheel, my nigga. You ain't going nowhere. That, you know what I'm saying? I agree with y'all. He put himself in that position, but they don't even have the knowledge to understand what the fuck is going on. These, these niggas are so lost. They like... That's how they live, look. Them niggas just lost. <laughs> no cap. Let's listen, though. And you're being friendly with them. You have a bunch of girls that you're around, and you waiting for them to be vulnerable, and then you be, like, tying your shit. Yeah. That, that, let's be honest. 
Let's be honest. Yeah. You be friends around them, and then when they're vulnerable, you're like, mm -hmm, maybe I could be the next one. And you're just deceived every time. That's what it is. And I get it. Because me, I, I used to say this all the time. Like, I couldn't do the whole friendship with ladies. Like, 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 like real friendships. I could be cordial. I could be cool, amicable, see them what's up. But I'm talking about like we just hanging out amicably all the time. And like there's no, I couldn't do that because generally I would be attracted to them. So I'm like, I'm not going to do that, right? Mm -hmm. Now in my older years, it's a lot easier because I don't even want it. I don't give a shit. Could, you've been right? through that. You did I've that. been through that. So now I can't have homegirls that are, and I don't even think about it like that. You get me? But you're not there. So a lot of guys have to stop lying to themselves, okay? They're not messing up your head. Now, the one addendum that I would say is like, some women will sometimes keep dudes that they know are into them as friends and they're dishonest about it. So some women do that. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Steph. Man, y'all already know, man. We like to be drippy and we like to look cold, man. That's why you gotta shop with G.O.D. Simply because you can wear G.O.D. with anything, G. Whether you going out, whether you going to the gym, whether you going to the store, you wanna look good, you wanna look fly, and you ain't gotta break the bank. You know what I'm saying? I know we all care about appearance. I know we all care about look, but why not maximize the coldness with G.O.D.? Why not maximize the coldness with a nice Cuban or a nice gold rope chain that's just hitting? Everywhere you go, it's just hit, man. So, man, that's why what you need to do is go to the link in the description and shop with GLD or go to the link in the comment section. It's pinned right there. If you want to be cold, shop with GLD, G. Nigga, most women do that shit. <laughs> most women keep that nigga on the back burner. That friend, you know what I'm saying? That 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 nice guy, you know what I'm saying? The guy that 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 you, that you know gonna have that state that stable income. Ain't the cutest, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't stroke you right, don't stroke you to your butt, you know what I'm saying? You ain't sexually attracted to the nigga, but you gonna keep that nigga on the back burner, you know what I'm saying? And he's so much of a beta male scent, he's gonna sit there and wait for you, man. Man, women be doing that shit all the time. I agree with you, bro. No cap, but. You have to acknowledge your part in this because mm -hmm. that's the only thing that you can control. And you have 100% control of that situation. Mm -hmm. So I just want to say that. Definitely. If you're wondering how the spotlight is going, I, I, I do the um, 150 minutes. So I show up in front of people for a long time. After a while, I kind of just came to the realization that I'm just not anybody's type, which is okay, you know? Uh, it, used to, it used to bother me and like have me like down, but at some point it becomes normal like the status quo and then you find yourself inside of your room maybe my bio is too like goofy you know what i'm saying i say that i'm a goofball i'm from the south i'm 26 year old living in los angeles california i'm from georgia and i'm proud of my southern roots i'm a goofball and i love to have fun so if you want to join come through and is and is having an adventure together take out the goofball bro like all this, I'm 20, you ain't, you ain't even got, like, this bio is a, is a red flag. Just take the bio out, bro. Like, you, you don't even need, just, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm Jonathan, and I'm from Los Angeles. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you ain't even got to be all this, you know what I'm saying? Or you can just take the goofball shit out, you know? Uh, proud of my Southern roots. Um, I would love to have adventures with people. It might be my swipe right if, if you guys, because I truly believe that communication is the number one responsibility of both people inside of the relationship. You should be able to talk to each other about anything without being vulnerable or feeling as if the other person is going to judge you because no, nobody wants that in a relationship. But if you're out there and you have never had anybody match with you or anybody interested in you or never really felt love and affection or physical touch from another person, do what I do and just get a bunch of like plushies and giant pillows. It That's just the pussy repellent right there. Just, just, just pussy. Just, you know, the, the, the sweet watery guts just get dry. That's the worst thing you can do is show a woman that 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 right there. I don't have a life. I don't have a social envelope, uh, uh, abundance. I don't go out. Like, where is the pictures where you're with your female friends, bro? See, that's the real game. Where are the pictures with your? If you got these female friends and they in your corner, right? Where are the pictures of y'all? Y'all ain't got no pictures together. 
I guarantee you, nigga, if you take a picture, if you got a female friend and she is somewhat decent looking and y'all take a picture together, that is going to spark some sort of interest in a woman's brain because women love a man who already have women. Facts. It works wonders. Like, I, um, I got a lot of things to cuddle with, so um, I'm okay. You know? <laughs> I'm okay. I, I, yeah, I'm fine. You know? <laughs> he said, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, no. I, I'm not, I'm not hurt by that comment. <laughs> okay. All right. Jokes aside. Jokes aside. Jokes aside. Uh, uh, go yeah. Ahead. I think he's a cool dude. You're a cool dude. You have a lot of potential, to, but the, the 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 social media is not necessarily gonna highlight the, that thing. The social media and the social dating is really good for average girl. It boosts your ego, and I'm not saying it's not hard for average girl. Uh, I'm an average girl, and it's not good for you. Then it means you're ugly. Uh, but um, other than that, it, it's just that that type is not good for you. It's not that you're not nobody's type. Is the dating app is not your thing. Mm -hmm. That's just so, f so many other options. You ain't showing no abs. You ain't showing no pictures of you thirst trap. Like, bro, you have to do this shit on social media, bro. Like, y'all, nigga, the same shit these women are doing. You, ha these women turning around in the gym and they, and they booty showing. Bro, get ripped. Put on some gray jogging pants, bro, and, and thirst trap. Don't make it super obvious. Just do what they do. Train quads today and show that ass. Train abs today and show that digging stick. Just do the print. Train biceps today with your lats flaring out. Do a set of you doing some curls. You got to start doing what these women doing, bro. To, you, there, there has to be an attention grabber. You, ha, you, have, you have to grab somebody. Oh, look at that ass. Oh, damn, look at her titty. Damn, look how cute she there has to. Oh, there has to be an attention grabber. Then you're on social media. You got to take pictures that's going, oh, the girl. That's all, bro. You good, man. It's really that. Mm -hmm. That's really that. You got comedy uh, timing and stuff like that. Start a new comedy. Start start dancing classes. Take language classes. Go out there and prove yourself yep. and stuff like that. But the dating classes, that's not, that's not you. Go on improv night. Go ahead. You say he's really cool, right? But I think I think he's cool. Yeah. We see that because we're seeing him through this lens. A lot of times you could have somebody you think is cool in your life, then you see them with the opposite sex and they start acting goofy or funny. They start acting outside of themselves. Some of you just need to get used to just talking to the opposite sex and recognizing that they're human beings and people and not this like desperate thing that can like make you happy. Mm -hmm. Right? Facts. That is a great, very, very, very valid point. This is why I be telling y'all, bro, like, you got to get in the habit of just speaking to women. Hey, how you doing? How's your day going? You know what I'm saying? Smile. Like, like you got, you have to do that. Like, that is how you're going to get over that social anxiety. I get it, bro. I, I Bro, I understand. I know how it feels when you first approach your chick. I was nervous. I was nervous when I first did it. As you... Start to do it. You have conversations with women on, on the daily. Then you then you doing herbal life, and you got all these beautiful women in your face twenty four seven. You know, what I'm saying these beautiful women asking you for tasks. You getting on Zoom calls with these women. You know, you eating at you know eating at nice restaurants with these women. These women are in your face constantly asking for your advice, asking for your help. Some of these women want you to dig them out. Some of these women are giving you choose and sending. You're, you're, you're I'm used to it now. I'm ha I'm used to I'm used to a, 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 a you know I'm not like. <gasps> So a, a lot, a lot of you guys are starstruck. You don't be starstruck. Don't be starstruck. Have simple conversations, man, with the fish lady, man. When you go into the grocery store, and you, hey, excuse me, man. I, I just want to say, how, how's your day going? You good? You having a good day? It might sound weird, bro, but I'm for real. You know what I'm saying? You at the grocery store and you scanning your food, G, and it's a lady right there, man. Have a conversation with her, no, no matter how she look. Just, just, just have a simple conversation with her. You know what I'm saying? Be blah, that wasn't so bad after all. Then you're going to approach her. You're going to get rejected. The rejection is a part of the game. 
right? You got to build that rapport up, man, with your confidence. The confidence comes with results. You're not going to gain confidence overnight. You gain confidence through results. Some of y'all come up and you, when you talk to ladies, like, bro, I saw you five minutes ago, you were normal. Now you're just stumbling all over your words and you're like, you're saying things that even you think is absolutely cringe. Maybe you just need to start to get used to just talking to the opposite sex without yeah. wanting anything. Don't get their number. Don't ask them out on a date. Just have a regular ass conversation with them, right? Get used to just doing that. Any girls. Any girls. Just be comfortable around them. Any girls, bro. Facts. And also, you know, you are reading off your profile, trying to figure out this stuff. Another thing that I also think a lot of people are not honest about, okay, is that they say, I don't get no matches. No, you don't get no matches that are up to your standards. Maybe the standards that you have are too high. That's not just ladies. There's dudes out there who don't understand what their market value is based off the picture or profile that they got, okay? You guys are a four or five on Tinder, okay? Expecting to get to seven and eights. In real life, you might be a six or a seven. I don't know. But on Tinder, your pictures aren't that great. You don't translate well. Your standards are too high for that platform. You got to recognize that. Because I promise you, if I took over your profile for half a day, I'd get some matches. You might not like the way they look. You might not want to get with them, but you would get matches. Which means it's not that you're completely undesirable. You're just not desirable to the people that you want based off however you set your shit up. Maybe it's time to lower your standards. That's also a possible. Or or you work on yourself you bust your ass you get cold as hell so 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 when reality do hit the fan you be like this is what i deserve look how i look look at the kind of money i'm making look at the kind of game i'm spending look at my lifestyle this is what i'm worth this is who i am this is the kind of people that i attract but if you stay fat as fuck if you stay broke as fuck if you stay unmotivated if your teeth yellow as fuck if your teeth if your teeth is pushed back and shit like that my nigga What's that gonna show? That's gonna show on your confidence. Low ass face, low low ass zone. You know what I'm saying? Don't wanna don't wanna do nothing. Don't wanna talk to nobody. Not motivated. Don't wanna get a fucking job. You're not constantly evolving. You're not constantly working on yourself. You're not constantly trying to improve. You just staying the same. And then when I tell you, when you stay the same, you're going to complain. Period. Possibility. I can't say because I don't know you personally. But this is just general advice for a lot of people out there. Because, like, the two guys we saw, they weren't ugly. I know ugly people. They were just average. Maybe slightly below average. There's ugly motherfuckers out there. I know them. That's not you. I, when we talk about I promise you, dog. Like, nigga, all you got to do, bro, go to a cold-ass barber. Go to a cold barber. Look at the pictures on the, the, the cut app. Or you can look at pictures on Instagram. Hashtag. Uh, uh, whatever hairstyle you like, you know, you got the high fade with the soap. If I was you, I would get the high taper fade or the high burst fade. Look at these barbers, man. Look and then get your beard and your and your line in. All this matter, bro. How your mustache around your lip showing your lip that matters. That that changed the whole trajectory of your face. Putting a beard, if you got a beard, make sure you're putting a beard on your beard. That's going to change the whole trajectory of your beard, the texture of your beard, how dark your beard is. Like, it, like self-improvement is everything, every single day, bro. But it's just the little things. Like, a young dog hit me up in my DM the day, and he said, bro, is it is it kind of feminine to, to get, you know, uh, you know, get, get, get a man get his nails done? Not at all, bro. Not at all, bro. Don't know woman want you. We trying to, we digging in the guts, right? Shit. I'm rubbing on her thighs and I'm rubbing on them sweet watery guts. I mean, don't, don't she want my hands clipped? Yeah, my hands is going to get dirty. I'm a man. My hands going to get dirty, but my fingernails are going to be filled with dookie and, and crumb. And you know what I'm saying? Me digging in my booty and all. It ain't got to be the, all that. Go get me a manicure. Yeah, a manicure. Yeah, give her a tip. You know what I'm saying? Your nails is clean. You know what I'm saying? You go on about your day. The little things. A skincare routine. The little things. Taking a shower before you go work out. The little things. Your cologne. Your cologne regimen. The little things. You putting your fitness first. You putting your health first. You putting that gym first. The little things can create the big things. What about busted? Quasimodo, nigga. You not Quasimodo. You're, that's not you. I know some ugly niggas, bro. I know some ugly niggas, dog, and they getting 
the sweet watery guts. I went to school with ugly niggas. White guys, black guys, Hispanic guys. I went to school with ugly niggas, bro. You not ugly, bro. Trust me when I say this. If you see this video, bro, you not ugly, bro. You just got to fix and, t and tweak a few extra things, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to fix up your swag too, bro. You got you to gotta work on that shit. Right? So you also have to be honest about why you're failing and where that's coming from, right? So I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. What? I could use a little bit of skincare product on your face. I don't know. A little tea. He's handy. You know what I mean? Some <laughs> we're not doing an ad. Play. No, no, we're not even going to do that. I'm not even going to do that to him. I'm not even going to do that. But you know, listen, I know it's a struggle. I know it's hard. It is. Because when all you know is rejection, it's like impossible to imagine you on the other side. But like I've seen a lot of my friends go through, like I've seen myself go through, you can get on the other side. It is absolutely possible. So just be patient with yourself and understand like it's going to take some work because unfortunately you don't have what it takes to make it easy for you. So you're going to have to do a little extra labor. But if you're willing to do that, if you're willing to take up these activities, I promise you can't come on the other side. So um, that'd be my advice. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people out there struggling with this. Not everybody's going to end up with someone. You better you better work the best that you can to, to you know. Preach a line. You better work the best you can work, my nigga. And hey, that's the video today, guys. I'm out, man. Peace.